people are happy to have football back, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, really eager to see, you know, who will win between Barcelona and Real Madrid because they both play this weekend. But there is no people in the um, in the stands. It's it's a different kind of sport, you know. It's the second best, of course, but it's it's yeah. People will have to sit in bars and uh, think about the social distancing, and that's hard when you you're fired up because your your own team scores a goal, or wins a good game. So it's it yeah. We, the the football public is confronted with a lot of a lot of new um, situations and challenges. I think uh, in this situation. Dave Clark, last week, uh, this week it's Spain, next week it's England on the 17th games resumed there. Was it the right decision to resume the season? Couldn't they just wait until August? Well, uh, we were, were waiting until Newcastle United's injury list shrank and they, a lot of our players seem to have recovered in this uh, unusual mid-season break. So uh, we're, uh, we're looking forward to facing Sheffield on the on the 21st uh, at St. James's Park. Uh, uh, culturally, something may have changed, though. I was looking forward to the next season here in Brussels. I follow Union saint gilois here, and uh, Molenbeek has been promoted, so we're going to have a local derby match. And last season, I spent a lot of time in a crowd of people. But uh, last night, I was back in a Belgian pub for the first time since the lockdown started. Things have begun to, uh, to ease here. And it did feel odd being in the crowd. And I wonder whether our societies have have changed. Uh, will I feel comfortable in a football crowd? Would I be feel fun comfortable taking my, uh, my my boy to the match when the season does restart uh, here in Belgium um, with crowds? Uh, um, obviously, there, there may be some games beforehand without crowds. Uh, have, have things changed? Or when this epidemic is over, do things just resume as, as, as per normal? Barbie Lazzanato, what have the tifosi in Italy, the fans there, have been telling you? Well, you know, I mean, it is really thought to be a, a, a human right here to be able to watch football. You know, it, it's been a painful, painful thing, experience to not have uh, their their fans. But, you know, you, you see people gathering increasingly together in parks. It's like I saw the other day, people who had brought, they brought a TV down, extension cords down all the floors of the, of the apartment building next door to try to watch kind of old old football just to be together. You know, they were socially distanced. The police are very, very strict here about keeping people socially distanced. You still can't have crowds of people in your house and things like that. But it just felt so desperate and, and so important to gather together. It's one thing to watch football in the privacy of your own home. But these are people who just wanted to be around each other, watching uh, a match that they knew the outcome of, but they, it just felt, it was sort of wonderful and tragic all at the same time. But I think they're really ready for it. What we're really seeing as well here are the, the kids out there playing. And uh, it's very much part of the culture here to be playing soccer in the piazza, to play football in the piazza. And you see that with more and more and more frequency here. So that feels like things are getting back to normal. But it won't be normal until the stadiums are full here. And I think that the Italians will risk it. I think they're very, very ready to get back together and watch crowded stadiums to be watching together and cheering together and losing together and winning together. I cannot see that they'll you know, be satisfied until everything is truly back to normal in that sense, which should be this fall, they tell us. 